I want to read a little bit to get us motivated for today. He didn't care about statistics or personal accolades and didn't mind letting teammates take the credit. I never paid attention to MVP awards, only how many titles we won. His brand of leadership had nothing to do with the outside world or how he was perceived. It was entirely focused on the internal dynamics of his team. To them, he was more like an action hero. Simple, consistent, pure of heart. All he cared about was winning. Go on, Frankie, get there. Went to grammar school K through eight, right down the street. So every day after school, it'd be homework and then straight out here. The best one I can remember is 4th of July. I think it was 12. We probably had 200 people back here and it was a 4th of July boxing match. Ralph and I was the main event and we had like ring people holding signs and trainers and introduction music. Our Friday, Saturday family outings were like go to USF or Santa Clara games. I'm, I'm not happy to be here. I'm, I'm coming in to win and to make my mark on, on USF, so. I wasn't a heavily recruited guy. USF offered me after I went to their team camp going into my senior year in July and I think I committed like the next week. And The unique opportunity to have my family at the games is something that was very important to me and me being close to home. I am kind of a homebody and try to come home as much as I can. There are things to say like, oh, well, he's a kid that transfers back and forth. And it wasn't about me being in a bad situation or anything. It was just me wanting to play. A better opportunity would be to go to junior college and play one more year and then transfer to, a, to a, another four year. That's when he really, I think, found himself. We're gonna go to Pima Community College, Vinny and I, in, 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 uh, in, uh, in Tucson. Yeah, he was gonna go to U of A. We were all going to move out there and I was just going to play for the year. And then Kyle got the job and I got a call getting on the plane. It wasn't much of a, a selling of him calling me and wanting to bring me back. Right when he offered me the scholarship, I was like, I'm in. Frankie's pretty level-headed. He thought it was a good fit for him, so it was good enough for me to drive 20 minutes to go watch him play. People say it's been a unique journey. My, the, this first year back, I broke my hand and the lineups trickled and I found myself like on the scout team as a sophomore. So I'm thinking, okay, like I gotta have a big junior year. And then at the beginning of my junior year, I didn't even start. It was hard for me. I, I mean, obviously that's a big check to your ego. And coach had told me the day before that I'm gonna be back in the starting lineup. And I called my dad, it was like 6.30 in the morning. It was basically like, I'm done playing for everyone else. Uh, I don't care what everyone else thinks. Like I'm starting again in league and I'm gonna take this thing over. I dropped some swear words in there to uh, <laughs> kind of at the end of the thing I said, you know, here's a notice to you and everyone's going to start taking F and notice and just kind of sh collect the phone and I was first team all league for four weeks later. And, and uh, it looked like Rotino who made the three popcorn for Ferrari. He, got, he ate popcorn. He ate popcorn. <laughs> Literally my hand happened to be in the popcorn. I said here might as well take it. I see him chewing on something. I'm like, what is, what is he? I was so confused. Frank comes to the bench, I go, what did you do? He goes, I just stole a popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> so, so typical Frank nonchalant about Yeah, no keep going. Hey, yeah. I thought it was funny how he just looked right at the camera. And just, I saw on Twitter a bunch of different people sent it to me. <laughs> and then they were like, isn't that your brother? And I was like, yeah, that is my brother. <laughs> I was just like, he's frat for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they didn't hit a three on, on me the next play because that would have been on the film breakdown for sure. When he gets in rhythm and makes one or two, Boy, that was a long one. Wow. Wow. feeling it. Wow. Frankie Ferrari you just let me? loose with a Steph Curry wow. tonight. He has gone over the 1,000 point total for his career. Yeah, for me, I, 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 that makes me think about the, the day I committed. I put up a picture and I think the caption was like, you know, committed to USF Don's, proud to be here. Can't wait to hang some banners on the hilltop. And I really meant that. And being a USF ball boy or whatever for years and seeing how they haven't been to an NCAA tournament since the 90s and really haven't been at the forefront, like she said, of, of basketball for you know 30 some odd years, I think to cap it off with something like this would be awesome.